Well, I was going to wear my glasses to seem nerdy, but... Hello, Reflection. How are you doing today? How are you? Do I use lighting? Oh, I thought it was natural. Oh, that ring? No. No, that's supposed to be there. <laughs> and how to make it through those even... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to tell you how to survive your first week of college, how to register for classes, how to party in class. Wait, they don't do that in college. That's just in like elementary school. But actually some classes do have parties, so it's actually really fun. But I came up with a list of things. I was at work one day and we were all bored and I have a lot of incoming freshmen that I work with. So we came up with this list of things that incoming freshmen need to know when it comes to class, Registering for classes, making friends, and things like that. So, let's get started. I have to find my list. Okay, so being on your own is good and bad. Okay, so the good part is you're on your own. You don't have your parents telling you what to do anymore. But the bad part is you're on your own and you don't have your parents telling you what to do anymore. Nobody's there to wake you up. Nobody's there to tell you to go to class. Nobody's there to tell you to do your homework. Nobody's there to tell you to study, to go to the library, to make friends in your class, to work on your group project. Nobody is there to tell you those things. So that's kind of the good and the bad thing is you really have to learn a lot of self-discipline or else you are going to just fall apart so quickly. The first week of school, the first two days of class, you're... Monday, Wednesday class, and then your Tuesday, Thursday class, those are going to be, it's called syllabus week. So those are going to be the days that you're going over things in the class, you're going over the syllabus, your teacher's introducing you to things. Sometimes teachers do start teaching on that day, so make sure you have something with you just in case. Most teachers don't, but the higher up you get in classes, the teachers are like, read the syllabus on your own, we're doing chapter one today. So just be very, very careful about that. Also, that Wednesday and Thursday that you have the next classes or whatever days you have, you will start doing things in class. So the best thing I can suggest to you is read ahead of time. Your syllabus should be up a week to two weeks before your class starts. And even if it's not, Chegg normally delivers within a like three or four days or you can do Amazon Prime for two days. They have a thing for students and I'll link that down below where they have free shipping for students or Something like that, I don't really know. Reading ahead is what's going to save you. I didn't really have to read ahead in classes until sophomore year when I took an economics class. And I didn't know what in the rat's behoot the teacher was saying. And so I started reading the book ahead of time so I could kind of understand. It's better to kind of understand something than be completely lost when they're teaching. So reading ahead can actually help you because I have had teachers that do in-class quizzes without telling you. So it was a business law class, so it was something where you had to know um, the cases and things like that and the vocabulary, but he would never tell us when we were having an in-class quiz. So that was really when a lot of people got caught up and got in trouble. Not, well, not got in trouble, but they kind of screwed themselves because they weren't reading ahead and they would go into that class being like, uh, do not skip class. I have, <laughs> especially your freshman year or freshman and sophomore year, so many of your undergrad classes will give you extra credit for going to class every single day. Talking about skipping, do not skip class to get ahead in another class. That's, it's, ugh, it's such a tricky thing because, yes, one class may not be as important as that one class, but for me, it seems whenever I skip a class, I miss out on the day that they have extra credit or I miss out when he gives a test review and literally just reads off the test. So just be very careful about that. Just try to prioritize your time. If anything, pull an all-nighter that night or um, I don't even know. And if you have to skip a class, that's when you need to make friends with the people that sit around you. Do not email your professor and be like, hey, I skipped class today. I need the notes. He's going to be like, screw off. I'm not helping you. It was your decision. No matter what grade you're going into, read the syllabus ahead of time because that's how you can kind of start to get ahead. You can have a, gra a gra 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 grasp on everything that's going to be happening throughout the year and you can maybe go ahead and pinpoint some things in the book that you're going to need to know. I forgot what I was going to say. Rate my professor is something that will save your life. So I'll link the link down below, but all it is is ratemyprofessor.com. You can search by your school, by the professor, by the class. Some subjects like Brit Lit, there's just no good teachers. There's not. I had one choice and one choice only and... <laughs> I could do nothing about it, but there's just some classes where there's no choices, but Rate My Professor will ultimately save your college career. If you use one resource in college, use Rate My Professor. And it tells you if a professor's hot or not. I don't know if you care about that, but you know, that may make class a little bit better for you. I don't know. 
I hope this video was very helpful to some of you who are going into your first college setting. The first week is very scary, it's very fun, very overwhelming, but it can make or break you, I think, for your first week of college. So if you enjoyed this video with all this help, please give it a big thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this in the past. If you have any suggestions, suggestions, suggestions for um, college for classroom etiquette, for things you need to do, things you need to know about college, leave them down below. I may have forgotten something and you may be able to help somebody else. Subscribe before you leave if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye. It's like Halloween in this room. Thumbnail. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be very helpful for those of you who are trying to kind of minimize your makeup collection and try to figure out how to just combine some stuff and get rid of those things that you don't use. So with makeup